Hey guys, welcome back to The Daily Departure. I am getting ready right now to go to the airport for a three-day trip. Yes, I am flying three days, and I know I normally prefer two days, but this three days is worth it because we have a long layover in one of my favorite Caribbean places that I've been able to lay over at. This is why it's worth it. But I'm trying to get everything together. That's why I have stuff on the counter back there. I'm trying to pack some food. But the reason why I'm struggling right now and I have a little bit of extra time before I really have to be leaving is because we are doing a Caribbean trip so today we have I think two legs and then we have our layover in a Caribbean city and then tomorrow we come back from that destination so we're gonna have to go through customs so I'm trying to figure out exactly what kind of food I can bring in order to eat today and tomorrow and then not have to worry about buying anything on the layover just because I like to stay budget friendly and pack a lot of my own food but after that we have two legs up to Boston we lay over and then we have two legs back to Chicago so I'm kind of trying to figure out if I should pack food for those days and how I'm going to handle bringing that through customs, what I'm gonna bring. And then also, I don't wanna be rushing or hungry on my way back to Boston slash I don't really wanna have to buy food in the airport. But this is one of the reasons why sometimes flying Caribbean trips is hard because a lot of time I like to pack salads, but if you don't have time to eat your salad, it's like, can you go through customs with that? Probably not. So I am trying to figure out because I wanted to avoid bringing a third bag but it's kind of looking like right now I actually might bring my lunchbox, which is my modern picnic lunchbox that I've talked about in some previous videos because it's a little bit smaller and it's really convenient and it looks just like a purse. Also, I'm going to bring some coffee today and I hope I don't forget it because I tried to bring my tumbler on my trip last week and I just totally left it at home. So, just slammed it against the counter. I'm gonna try to bring that this time because I had extra time so I made some coffee and I'm going to bring that to the airport. I'm gonna get packed with my food and figure out just exactly I wanna eat on this three day trip. Also, if it is interesting to you guys to see what exactly I pack for food on these three day trips, or two day trips or four day trips, whatever I fly, just packing food in general as a flight attendant, comment down below if you want me to make a video like that because if you guys want me to make a video like that, I will for sure try to figure one out and uh, make a video of what I pack on my trips. All right, we are about halfway through this two hour sit in Miami and then we have one leg down to Curacao, but we are on the Boeing 737 Oasis interior. What's special about this plane is that it has device holders on the seat back right there, USB power port, and then a wall outlet down there. This plane fits a little over 170 passengers, but we have a really light load going down to Curacao today. We have about, I think, 120 people on board, so quite a few seats open. First class is pretty much all open. I think there's five people booked up there, so that will be really nice for the number one who is working first class. She'll only have five people to serve up there, which is great, and then we're pretty empty back here. The one thing I do a lot on this plane is I walk through and make sure all the seat backs are forward at first before everyone gets on because these seats um, tend to have a little bit of a slight recline. So when we're going through before we take off and making sure everyone has their seat backs forward, a lot of time people will be like, oh, I didn't even put it back, and it's like, no, no, it's not you. It's just kind of the seats on this plane that that sometimes do that or maybe they were left up from passengers previously so that is what I'm doing right now walking through and making sure every seat back is forward and correcting them if they're not. This plane has no screens on it so no seat back monitors no drop down monitors so I have to make sure that I have my demo equipment because we do safety demos on this with a pre-recorded audio message that does safety demo verbiage and then stand in the aisle and do safety demos on this. Some of the things that I do on this plane before we leave. Hello from Curacao. We just made it in. I'm trying to figure out how to turn on the lights in my room. That didn't do it. I'm in Curacao finally. The room is super cute. It has this light blue wall and got some funky light fixtures. And then here's the bathroom. I actually remember now I was trying to rack my brain for memories of this hotel last time I was here and I could only remember the pool but I was like I do not remember the rooms and last time I actually had a cute little balcony on my room but unfortunately this time I do not. We had a really nice flight over. My crew is really great. I've flown with two of them before and I think I've maybe flown with the pilots before one of them. 
captain looked really familiar, but I can't remember what trip I flew with both these ladies I'm flying with and the captain. I can't remember what trips I flew with them. I'm going to get changed and we're going to meet up just to kind of hang out with the crew for, you know, whatever, 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and then come back to bed because it is right now. It's 11 o'clock here and we have until 3.30 tomorrow to hang out, so it's a nice long layover and I'm going to spend tomorrow in the pool. just taking a peek outside to feel how nice it is out here. I have a balcony door, but no actual balcony. So cute out here with these colorful buildings. Before I go down, I brought my Aloha bag on this trip. This was a bag that I found out about when I was in Hawaii. It's a Hawaiian company and they have so many cute water resistant beach bags that they sell. So this is my new go-to and it packs up really well. It's huge also. I mean, just look at how big this thing is. But I threw my wallet and some snacks in there and then I'm also gonna throw this water bottle that the hotel gave me in there. And yeah, I'm gonna go walk around the city area and then go to the pool after. so nice right now and it's so clear I can see my whole body underneath the water right now it's this gorgeous teal blue say goodbye we are going to go from curacao back to miami we have a two hours sit there and then we do miami to boston and we lay over we have a really short overnight it's about 10 hours so i'm super ready to get on with the day and it was such a treat being here in curacao i absolutely love this layover it is one of my all-time favorite layovers especially for caribbean destinations if you do not know about curacao i highly recommend researching Curacao and if you are looking for a Caribbean destination to go to Curacao is a great spot to visit because it is just so beautiful here and the people are so kind here also while I was shopping I picked up this really cool hand-painted piece of wood that has a little ribbon on it and I'm going to use it as an ornament because I have been wanting to start buying things while I'm traveling and I don't really like spending money on souvenirs or anything that I'm just going to leave sit around or put in a drawer but I really have been interested in buying items that are ornament ready or can be hung on a tree and 
maybe sometime in the future I will have a Christmas travel tree that I will be able to do. So I bought one ornament in my Atlanta vlog while we were at the Coke Museum and then now I have one for Curacao and hopefully I will be able to collect some more as I travel all over the world and all over the states. <music> Austin. I am so tired right now. It's like 1 a.m. and I am so ready to go to bed right now. This trip was definitely one that we had to work for that layover because tonight we have a 10 hour layover which is so short compared to the one we had yesterday. Right now it is 1.16 a.m. Boston East Coast time and we have to be downstairs for pickup at 11 a.m. So very short layover. But the plus side today was that I had a two hour sit in Miami and I got to see my boyfriend as he was commuting home. I try to show you guys when I get to see my boyfriend at the airport because it is something that I really, really appreciate. If you don't know or you haven't noticed or this is the first time watching one of my videos, my boyfriend is a pilot or an airline so sometimes we get to cross path in different airports and we take advantage of being able to see each other because we have such crazy schedules sometimes we go a week give or take some days without seeing each other and it can be really stressful and it can be really hard but it's kind of one of those things that you have to sacrifice by both having the careers that we want and also we sometimes do have the flexibility to have multiple days together just full on 24 24 hour days just back to back seeing each other because because of our schedule. Tomorrow is going to be an exciting day so keep watching the vlog because tomorrow we are flying on an Airbus 321T which is an airplane that goes and does transcons. It has been forever since I have been on this plane and I have only ever been on it once. I am based in Chicago so I don't do any of those LA and JFK transcons which is usually what the 321T does and occasionally the JFK Boston route does the 321Ts and we are doing it tomorrow so I'm going to show you that plane. It is one of my favorite planes in the inside. It is just so cool. For some reason I just really like that plane. I like how it's set up and I would love 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 to work that plane in the future but as for now i'm just doing it on these little short domestic flights but i would love to do it and an actual transcon on this hey guys good morning i just opened the blinds right now to give me some more natural light and it is so bright out because it is already like i think 10 30. i woke up early to wash my hair and curl my hair because i have a lot of hair so it takes a long time to do it but i am actually running downstairs first before my pickup because yesterday I ran out of deodorant and I use the spray deodorant. I only was traveling with one of the mini ones because I figured it would probably run out soon and I wouldn't have to worry about it. So it made a lot of sense to carry with me, but it literally only lasted one day's worth of use. So this morning I was like, shoot, I need deodorant. So I'm gonna run downstairs and grab some of it from the hotel pantry area. But the reason that I was traveling with a tiny deodorant is because after this trip, we get in a little after 6 p.m. and I'm trying to catch a 6.40 flight down to Miami because there's a wedding my boyfriend and I are going to tomorrow down in Miami. And when I am down in the Keys, I have dry shampoo and deodorant that I just keep down there because they are both above the three ounce liquid restriction rule and when we go down there I usually don't travel in my uniform and when you go through crew security if you get randomed which happens a lot out of uniform you have to abide by the liquid restriction that normal passengers have to follow even if you are going to work and you are out of uniform three ounce rule applies to you. So I just don't even wanna to have to worry about that when we go down there. So I decided I was gonna start keeping a dry shampoo and a deodorant down there because I use spray deodorant. So that fits under the three ounce rule. So if you have liked this video so far, seeing my Caribbean layover in Curacao, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell for notifications because I am always traveling, literally always traveling. I have been on an airplane every day so far for the year of 2020. I'm filming this now because because I don't think I will be able to film because I'm going to be running from my work flight to my non work flight. Hopefully we'll be making it on. So make sure to subscribe because literally I'm always traveling so much so that I'm gonna be running <laughs> from one plane to the next. Okay, so I'm in the 321T right now. It's the forward galley, which is pretty normal. And then this is first class with pod seats. So each individual seat has a movie screen. 
you can make this whole seat lie flat so that you can sleep and you don't have to sit upright. Closet. Bathroom. And then back here is business class seats that also are lie flat. So right here there's controls and these seats can lay completely flat. So usually this plane goes and does transcons, which is perfect because if you're in business class, you're paying extra and you wanna be able to sleep. And then this is the whole main cabin section of the plane. And then two bathrooms and this whole big galley back here. And over here we have another galley. Typically other Airbuses have a forward galley and a back galley, but this plane is so big and it has three classes that we have a middle galley for when they do a full service up here in business class. This is where they do everything. There are ovens to heat up food, storage, and a place for all of the carts. And that's my jump seat right there by the main cabin extra area. Hey.